Even on a Saturday, the trial of former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger continued today. Jurors heard from the lead investigator again. He told them what might have been going through Geiger's head when she killed both of Jean last September. Here's Rebecca Lopez. The jury was supposed to hear testimony all day today, but around 11 a.m., the judge abruptly ended the proceedings and sent the jury back to their hotel until Monday morning around 930. Now, when the jury wasn't in the courtroom, former Dallas Police Deputy Chief Craig Miller was questioned by the attorneys. He was going to testify as to whether he thought Geiger acted reasonably, but the judge excluded that testimony as she has other witnesses who were going to give their opinion about that. All the jury heard was brief testimony from the lead detective in this case, Trooper David Armstrong, who testified that officers at times will get what is called tunnel vision. They're focused on their primary target and can disregard what else is around them. You may not hear at the normal volume that you normally would because you're under stress. You may have vision narrowing or tunnel vision, which means you are only focusing on what is directly in front of you, not in your periphery. You may also experience short-term memory loss, which may be regained over time because your mind is prioritizing tasks at that moment in time. Both in Jean's family as well as Amber Geiger left the courtroom shortly after that. The judge has this jury sequestered, which is why some people were surprised that she ended the proceedings today. Some believe that the defense then is done with their case and plan to rest as early as Monday morning, which means the jury could begin deliberations as early as Monday. We'll be here to cover it all. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez. Back to you. A lot of you have been asking if Geiger could be convicted of a charge other than murder. Well, that could happen. We break down the other charges the jury could consider in this case on WFAA.com. Testimony does start back at 830 Monday morning. You will find a live stream of that testimony on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and WFAA.com.